Paul Rudd is a familiar face in many of Hollywood's biggest comedy hits of the last decade. He's become one of the funniest leading men around. This week, he's back in theaters as a troubled businessman sure. trying to get close to Reese Witherspoon in the new romantic comedy, How Do You Know? You. Yeah. What sort of trouble are you in, George? Oh, uh, I don't know. Simply put, I'm um, currently unemployed. Uh, my girlfriend recently broke up with me. Uh, I'll soon run out of money. And uh, I'm the target of a federal investigation. <laughs> wow, you're a real chick magnet, aren't you? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we'll see. I think the lines end up working pretty well. Paul Rudd is here. Good morning. Good morning. So, uh, just to get this straight, because I've seen the film, and I'm, I'm going through the background on all of this. You have to kiss Jack Nicholson in the movie. You end up kissing Reese Witherspoon in the movie. Mm -hmm. Who is the better kisser? Oh, boy, that's really, that's apples and oranges. Uh, I know this pressure is on. That's tough. Yeah. That's really tough. Yeah. I mean, they're both great. <laughs> um, <laughs> Reese, I kissed once. I think I kissed Jack Nicholson maybe a thousand times. Right. Um, and, um, you know, they're, they're, just, they're, they're both of them uh, tender, caring, and uh, passionate. Had, passionate. There's 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 passion, but not too much. Mm -hmm. uh, and because um, it is acting, after all. Well, you got the whole crew around, and it's it's always a you know an awkward thing. Yeah. Um, but you know, it was. I, I, I felt great after kissing both of them. Very good. Well, I would just for the record. Yeah. We needed yeah. that. No, I understand. That. I, got right. I got you. I got you. I want to move on, though, because James Brooks is the guy who did this movie, and he's done all these classic romantic comedies over the, over the years. You had to audition for him? Yeah. I, uh, I, I went to meet him here in New York. I went to his apartment. Right. I had a fever, though. I had about, I had about 101 degree temperature. I probably shouldn't have been. I shouldn't have gone out of the house, really. Right. And I auditioned, and it was horrible. And it was I, horrible. And I was able to talk him into letting me do it again a couple of weeks later. And so you sold him on it the second time around. Apparently so. Well, because he said that you are to this movie what Jack Nicholson was to the classic Shining, as, as good as it gets. Oh. <laughs> he didn't do oh. the shot. Oh. Because the first scene I do like this in the movie. Yeah. Just talking out of my pinky. Red Rum. Red Rum. Yeah, that's what I... <laughs> uh, well, that's, that's high that. praise. I he mean, does that's. Say that. Did I, you know he said that? No, I didn't know he said that. Yeah. And um, I, I was sort of making a joke when actually I'm kind of overwhelmed because. And flabbergasted. He's the maestro. And, he uh, is kind of the maestro. And I'm, I'm, that's very nice to hear. Yeah. What is your job in this movie exactly? Because as, as the main character, you are the fulcrum around which all other levers mm -hmm. go up and down. Can you explain what your job is in this movie? I'm trying to make Reese Witherspoon fall in love with me. There you go. Is it, uh, you that's, but I don't know, I'm, that's, and then I also have an actual oh, job. Boy, I'm wearing a lot of hats in this thing now that yeah, I think about it. Yeah, Great. big, big time stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's what you're, you know, you rise to this amazing level of, of popularity and stardom, and then you have a lot of responsibility. <laughs> Nobody ever put it that way before. No, I'm gonna, now I'm really going to start getting nervous. <laughs> you better find another line of work. It's, it's, uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Can I ask you one more question? Of course. Do you know? How do you know? No. Oh, okay. All right. Because that's the whole point of the movie. No, I know. It's you know a, you'd, think, and... you'd think by this point I should, I'd have an answer to that question. Right. Yeah. How, do you know? I, I kind of pretty much do. God, tell me, please. I'll I'm just gonna... tell you what it is. Because when you realize one day that all the other ones that you think Mm -hmm. Aren't? Mm -hmm. That's how you know. That is a great answer. Actually, I mean, I do feel like I know in my own life right. just that I, I, I would rather be around the person, in this case my wife, right. <laughs> than not. So yeah. that's another... It, yeah, it's, it's, it's not particularly romantic. That sounded horrible. <laughs> I better come up with something. Can I steal yours? <laughs> Here's one. Here's one. Uh, you, I never thought I could be more myself in front of somebody than, than that's uh, getting better. That's much better. That's much better. And it would have sounded so much better about a minute ago. All right, yeah. yeah. You can edit that. You, we can just switch it. We'll fix it and post this. I appreciate say. it. All right, dude. Good to see you. You too. How do you know opens nationwide tomorrow?